Alright, so here we are. Apple iPhone 3G with 8Big, and here's my HTC Hero with TELUS. Yay! Boo! So first thing you do is you take the SIM card out of the iPhone or whatever phone you have. It's a little blurry, but it is a Rogers SIM card, the red. So you stick it into the Hero. Nowadays the iPhones use, iPhone 4 or whatever, 5 uses um, micro SIM cards, but you can find adapters to uh, make it fit regular SIM cards as well. So replace the battery, replace the cover, boot up the Hero, or whatever, fo or whatever phone you got going. Boot up the iPhone there, for just for comparison. Now this video is two years old, it's from 2009, it's tw 2011 now, and I've obviously gone to different phones. I am now actually switching between the HTC HD7 which, with the Windows Phone 7, which I really, really like, as well as the Nexus S with Android. So HTC Hero here is obviously Android. Now remember, if you have a locked phone with whatever carrier, TELUS, Rogers, FIDO, whatever, you have to go and buy or find an unlock code, which you can find on eBay or whatever uh, online site. Pay, you know, upwards to $20, give them your info and they send you the unlock code. So my hero has been unlocked already. So all I'm doing now is just showing you guys how to get the data working with manual setup. Most phones nowadays have automatic setup, but in some cases the auto setup doesn't work properly, so you'll have to manually enter in the information, which is what this video is going to be showing you, or has shown you. So here we are. The Hero booted up a little slower than the iOS. HTC, I don't know if they're... Most of their phones used to have Sense UI, but now I hardly ever see them. I actually like stock uh, Android. Sense UI, as beautiful as it is, it is, I don't like using it. Or I did like using it, but I like stock more. So anyway, pull up the menus. Hit settings. Okay. You want wireless controls. Un make sure Wi-Fi is unchecked. And make sure mobile network is checked. So touch the mobile network settings. And make sure data roaming and 2G networks is unchecked and then hit access point names. There'll be nothing there. So hit the menu and you want to create a new APN. So for the name, just type in whatever name you want. You know, internet or uh, access or whatever. It's, it's a custom name, whatever you want. I believe I'm writing in internet. For, then you touch APN. Okay, and APN you want internet.com. So I N T E R N E T dot C O M. My thumbs are a little big for the screen, but I still liked it. Now for the username, you want WAP user one. W A P U S E R one. All one word. And the password is WAP. W A P. Okay, so it'll save automatically. Hit the back button, and the little green dot should be filled in, and the little line should be going up and down for uh, and switch between H and 3G and whatever. So it's actually connecting with the Rogers network right now. So it's connected, yay! Now I'm just going back to the main screen, opening up the browser. Okay, some browsers automatically go to the carrier's websites portal or whatever. Just ignore it. And, find, and just find whatever, exit out of that or whatever, and open up a new window and just go to whatever internet site you want to go. I think I went to YouTube, and there you go. Now my comments, if you don't have annotations on, down in my comments you'll see the instructions, as well as the network bands and carriers between the U.S. and Canada networks that are compatible. So just use that as, as a reference guide. These instructions can be used for any and all carriers to get data capability on your phone. Alrighty.